Hey friends and welcome to another video. Here is one for whomever and whenever. You know, the truth is I just really miss doing daily videos for the sake of sitting down here and um, just doing the thing um, for no particular reason. So um, I know I said I would just do weeklies, but like I think that we should have the flexibility to change our minds at any time. <laughs> um, so let's do it for whoever reading. Um, a for whoever reading is just that you will find this whenever it's intended to reach you, whatever the message is, I do not know. Um, I'm pulling back out the um, Viator Somnirum uh, deck by um, Stephanie Alia. Um, she's based, she's an artist based out of um, Albuquerque and she, it's a dream based oracle deck. If you watch some of my earlier videos, we definitely play with these a lot. So, dream time. What is the message that wants to come out today? We already had something flipped out, the gift flipped over, and so did health. Okay, gift and health. Oh, what is the story of the gift? Uh, do you all remember it? The gift is something that is, um, you know, given, um, not necessarily earned, but it is, the, the gift is something that is a powerful tool to be used. So um, it's given to us. Um, it's something we have to learn to recognize in order to accept it. Um, beyond that, it's understanding what it is and how it's used and how to integrate that into whatever it is we're dealing with in the moment. Hmm. So, I mean, health is showing up here. So, I mean, health could be anything from like emotional health, physical health, mental health. Um, if you feel that you are suffering in health right now, um, it appears as though that there is like a silver lining to it. Like there's some, it's, it's meant to show you something. Um, what is the gift as it relates to health? First, I would consider what your health situation is and then try to figure out what is the meaning of this health issue. Like, what is it? Is it changing your focus into something else? Is it revealing something about how you operate in the world or how you treat yourself, how you treat others? What, is it changing how you think about what's important to you? Does it make you think about um, how well you're taking care of yourself? All of these things. So transcending that, you know, the subject of health, however that applies to you, that could be some sort of gift here. Um, since the two flipped out, we'll just leave those and keep going. Gift and health. Happy Taurus season. We're finally, finally made it. For me, it feels night and day different from like a couple weeks ago or last week to this week. I feel like, for me personally, I've definitely shifted into the mode of like, I can make a different decision today. Whereas before, maybe especially the full moon I was telling you guys in my last video, was a little intense and it was sort of very like, you know, Libra is um, air sign. So I think of it sort of like energy scattered in the wind. It's also intellectual. So it's like if it's a, it could be like overthinking things or mm, just feeling, yeah, in the wind. No more. Taurus is here. The end of a tough cycle approaches, the full moon in Capricorn. You know, the full moon in Capricorn, though, however, is also sort of like the, the uh, recommittal test. This comes up a lot, um, at least it, it has in recent readings. The idea of the thing that you want is on its way. Um, don't be discouraged um, if it has, isn't happening yet because um, your commitment is being tested. Yeah. 
Okay, I think we'll just do the one of those. I know this is different than what I normally do. I'm just sort of feeling it out, what we want to read today. So, so far we have the gift, health, and the end of a tough cycle approaches. Mm. It's almost like it's wanting to show you an alternative way, a new way of achieving some sort of health related um, goal, maybe. Don't just give up. There's something being illuminated here through your, through your commitment, you're discovering a new way. A new way to treat yourself, a new way to view your health. Hmm. The new moon in Libra was all about partnerships. So um, since that passed recently at the time of this recording, this could also be indicating um, health in partnerships, healthy partnerships, the gift of health. Hmm. These cards will get broken in. That's my end of this tough cycle. Yeep, yeep, yeep. Okay. That's enough. Let's see what messages we have today. We have the Six of Cups underneath. So yeah, like I said, um, there's partnerships here. Or at least relationships, harmony. This is about nostalgia, looking at the past. So, what is this harmony that wants to come in? Um, and who's giving it and who's receiving it? There's like a beautiful gift being offered. You see the gift of the cup being offered there. Sort of, um, whoop, if I get rid of my eye, maybe it'll focus. Yep. The gift being offered of the cup, the rose with the cup in it. It's very sweet energy. We have the Ace of Wands, the Sun. Look at that. The Seven of Swords, King of Swords, Three of Cups, the High Priestess, Seven of Cups, Queen of Cups, and the Fool. Something new for sure. The end of a tough cycle. We have the, uh, the beginning of a new cycle with the Fool here at the very end. The first two cards that came out of the deck mimic our dream cards. Look at this. There's the gift, like I already pointed out, something being offered, as well as health and the Ace of Wands. So the Ace of Wands is like also a new beginning. It's the beginning of a, of a passion, of an energy, of an idea. Um, I feel like this idea has something to do with um, wanting to feel joy, wanting to feel um, present, um, it has a lot to do with your truth. And I feel like your truth here, the, you know, the king of swords, swords representing the mind and the intellect, ideas, um, you know, also communication. So there's something about this, like, desire to communicate effectively. Oh, if I had my notes, I could tell you that Mercury, the planet Mercury is moving into another planet soon. I just forget which one, uh, Anyways, maybe it'll come to me later. Um, but this desire for clarity is here because there's also the Seven of Cups, which is the card of fantasy and illusion. I mean, it's also because of like choices, right? There's maybe a lot of options to go into. Um, and I guess what's being made clear is that direction. That direction is one of positivity, celebration, and deep understanding of one's emotions and intuition. It's almost like there's very little room for something for anything that could be misleading. Um, to that end, you know, this health card, it, it, you know, maybe there's been a lot of self talk that's been misleading, like the, the stories we tell ourselves. I know the ghost showed up in a previous reading. The ghost being the stories we tell ourselves to stay comfortably scared. 
I feel like that's being washed away with the sun card. So, I mean, that's Leo. Um, the sun is the is Leo energy here. So if, if you have Leo or fire in your chart. And there's a very, I feel like there's a very powerful sense of coming together. Um, but it's not like a meeting of the minds, but more like um, a celebration of um, almost like your unique point of view. So I don't know if you're meeting with people um, today or soon um, or if people are seeking you out. It's because you have a perspective to offer um, that I feel like will refresh maybe like this other person's sense of self or sense of like connection to self it it's probably related to a perspective of positivity maybe you're like a really optimistic person um in any case i'm seeing you know two references here of like this connection to self this higher self and wisdom um i feel like others may come to you for some sort of advice and yet, you know, you're still in this place of, and now I'm reading the future line, you might still be in the place of not totally understanding how to reach this place of connectedness. Because what I see here is the Seven of Swords, right, the card of deception, as well as um, the High Priestess, right? The High Priestess, she represents our, our wisdom, our highest self, in knowledge, you know. And then the Seven of Swords is deception or sort of like, if anything else, it's sort of like taking an alternate route, working around, because, you know, what I sense is that something here isn't working, and so we find other ways. And again, swords representing the intellect, maybe there's learning here. High Priestess is definitely associated with higher learning, spiritual learning, spiritual awakening. Hmm. So there, there could be a couple things happening here. I feel like if um, you've been feeling sort of out on your own in dealing with an issue, I feel like there's going to be a chance for people to come together. Um, and that's going to not only, you know, hopefully help everyone, help the people who are there coming to you for some sort of advice is what I'm getting. Because I see you here in a position of like having some sort of like expert knowledge about something or like a really clear way of communicating like you you're you're coming off as having a clear direction even if you are yourself struggling with um these options the choices here so ideally you know your community gets what it needs but at the same time you're being offered something here that is a gift um and maybe this health is relating i get the sense that this health is relating to some sort of spiritual health and we end on the full card, like this new beginning. Behave as though you are a student of life. Because we are. It doesn't matter how much we know. If you consider yourself an intellectual or not. It's like the more you know, the less you know. So there can never be a, a total satisfaction in any pursuit. And I feel like that is the, the message that is here. Um, Let's read the Moonology card because you remember these cards have so many uh, perspectives to offer. I want to see which message of that Moon card best suits this reading. Okay, so it says, how hard are you willing to work for what you want? This card is reminding you that effort is required. Yeah. Work issues may be about to come to a head when this card comes up. If you're wondering if you should stay in your job or leave, this card can be a strong side to make an exit. The end of a rough time is forecast. This card asks you to consider how ambitious you are and whether you're prepared to pull out all the stops to make your professional dreams come true. Without being ruthless. With a love question, this card can be a call to face reality. Whatever situation you're asking about, making a plan will help. If your personal life is troubled, prioritize it more hmm. release control and trust the universe 
Admit if you have been overly hard-headed or hard-nosed. A professional project may be ending now. Find a balance between your personal and private lives. It's time to stop fearing the worst. Okay, so I get the, the stop fearing the worst. I feel like that's here because the sun card is here. Find a balance between your personal and private lives. Personal and private. So I guess in this case, they're not synonymous. Personal and private, like your personal life being who you are in the context of everything else outside of you versus private life being your inner world. Am I understanding that correctly? Because I feel like that's showing up here. You have sort of this idea of community and celebration coming together with people. It's not just you. Uh, but then the high priestess is a bit of a solitary figure. And I mean, spiritual awakening, spiritual work here in, in this sense might just... Um, might just allude to uh, solitude, if that makes sense. So, personal versus private lives. Hmm. Yeah, like what is the health of your um, your friendships, your relationships, and what is your relationship to self? You can answer those questions for yourself and see what what uh, comes out of that. I feel like the gift, maybe in this scenario, right, is some kind of message about your health. Something that requires your attention, possibly the health of something that is here. So let's get a, just a couple more cards as advice because I feel like this, this reading has been elusive. Um, I feel like if this resonates for you, maybe I feel like you might be seeking out new relationships. Um, I feel like you might be avoiding a certain kind of relationship that's showing up here as well. Um, I feel like all in all, like the, the purpose of this, you know, the health of relationships period, um, I feel like the desire for that, for, for healthy relationships, is prominent in this reading. I feel like you want something that's positive and feels connected, like someone who is sort of at your pace, at your level, who understands the world the same way that you do, um, and sort of sees the same possibilities, right? Like, the scale of what is possible, Um, and ultimately someone to adventure with. There's this full card. And this could be like another person in your life, but it doesn't have to be. It could just be like how you ultimately want to be in relationship with yourself. Some final cards for advice from the universe. Judgment, self-awareness, ace of pentacles, opportunity, ace of swords. Okay. <laughs> I should have just stuck with the Ace of Swords. And then we have the Four of Cups. Interesting. So the, the story of the Four of Cups is that this, um, this character is um, sitting in a bit of an aloof position, um, sitting here with the Three of Cups below and the Ace of Cups allegedly being offered uh, to them. But they don't seem very interested. This card could be a signal of like preserving one's energy, not getting emotionally attached to things. Um, I feel like this is a good, in this case, a good omen because we also have uh, judgment, with, which is a crossroads and self-awareness. Um, if you are putting yourself um, under a more critical eye these days, um, then it's okay to... Um, try and view yourself in a slightly less emotional way so that you don't become frustrated with, let's say, the perception of something that you're doing that isn't working necessarily, or just like not being where you want to be, um, especially in regards to your health, right? Because what wants to come in is some sort of harmony. 
there's like this this six of cups is almost like a balance an emotional balance um a harmonious energy um that is here with us currently um and is rooted also in the past mm. So in some ways, I might say that there's something from the past here wanting to be integrated. Hmm. And then we have the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. I mean, the Ace of Swords is like the biggest yes in the tarot. Ace of Pentacles is sort of like a golden opportunity. In both cases, I mean, and we have the Ace of Wands. Look at that. I mean, in this reading, all three Aces and then this like Ace of Cups showing up um, you know, in a bit of an alternative way through this Four of Cups card. Um, I'll say this, because Judgment is here and all of these Aces are here, the Fool is here. There's so much new energy here because there is um, a threshold with newness. So... What I mean by that is to say that any time we are transformed, any time something new happens, it's because there was like the release of something else and um, that process of change to renewal, death and rebirth, um, we don't always um, perceive these things as like real energetic exchanges that happen sometimes all within just ourselves and so that's what I'm perceiving is happening here there's like this discomfort of a renewal um that has not yet been um I don't want to say manifested but like that's not yet materialized fully into an understanding but it's close it's very close and I, I feel like the the best advice in the cards here, if this relates to you, is to try to just be even keel about it. Um, emotionally, we have the Queen of Cups, so she's about nurturing our emotions. Get in touch with them, but don't let them identify you. There's like a sort of healthy boundary we can have with ourselves and our own emotions about, well, I feel frustrated with this or that. I feel frustrated even with myself. The Queen of Cups is the kind of nurturing of emotional state where you can recognize that and you're connected to it, but you're not becoming attached, is the Four of Cups. We do have two Sevens as well. I just realized that the Seven of Swords and the Seven of Cups. I think that this reading is for somebody who has been living some sort of uncomfortable phase. Because what's showing up here is that there is some sort of like positivity and radiance coming in. And we only know positivity, radiance, happiness through like, like we understand everything uh, through dualities. So for that to be showing up so strong here, there must have been something that did not feel hopeful, did not feel happy. And that's why I say that. And, and also the, this, the full moon card is saying the end of a tough cycle approaches. So. Um, you're not alone in, <laughs> in this because if ener these energies are showing up, there's a lot of people I, I understand will be, will might be feeling this or going into this. It's Taurus season, like I said. So, I mean, there, there's going to be, um, a lot of opportunities for standing in your power, uh, based on what you value, what you think is important. Um, and you'll see, you'll see, I'm going to put up more videos later. Um, for all the times that Taurus asks us to, to stand in our sort of integrity. But it's also about beauty and self-care. So take good care of yourself. Thanks for watching this video. And um, I'll see you all on the next one.